What we're hearing is that the hardcore gang unit will be dissolved. My understanding is that there's going to be a dissolution of the unit either April 1st or April 2nd. On the condition of anonymity, two L.A. County deputy DAs in the hardcore gang unit confirmed to Fox 11 what multiple sources are telling us, that DA George Gascon is planning to disband or downsize the unit in a major way. Los Angeles is considered the birthplace of gangs in some ways. I think what Angelinos don't understand because we're not, you don't always hear about gang crimes, is that three out of four murders in Los Angeles are gang related. The prosecutors say they feel they've already been hamstrung by Gascon's decision to ban them from using gang and gun enhancements, and they feel disbanding the unit will be a disaster waiting to happen, given the violent crime surge LA is currently experiencing. We can already hear it in jail calls and in interviews and the officers on the streets telling us that the gang members are laughing at them. I mean, it's, it's undermined the credibility of law enforcement in its entirety. But to not have a dedicated unit to protect the citizens of Los Angeles from these murders and from these absolutely horrific crimes, it, it shocked me. I actually thought it was a joke until I realized, wow, they're really going to do it. But Achille, a local Black Lives Matter activist, told me Gascon is just listening to his community. He is simply doing what the people have been asking for. That's why he was elected. We have called for the disbandment of, of that unit uh, because we saw how it uh, was abusive, how it was used uh, to criminalize a people and neighborhoods, and, and we saw that it was ineffective. Now he's simply saying, let's just swing it back to where it should be. But the prosecutors in the hardcore gang unit tell me dissolving it would only hurt marginalized communities the most. Well, the misnomer with my cases, because I do all gang violence cases, gang murders particularly, is that all of my victims are rival gang members. And that's not true. They miss their targets and they get their enemies wrong. And they target people solely because of the way they look, whether that's a Hispanic male with a shaved head or a black male standing on the corner at the wrong place at the wrong time. So here's the deal. Earlier this afternoon, I reached out to George Gascon's office to ask about this, ask about what these sources are telling me. A special advisor to George Gascon told me in a phone call that they are always having active discussions about staffing decisions, but he didn't confirm nor deny that George Gascon is planning to disband or downsize this unit. Uh, he told me he was going to look into it for me, get back to me. That was many, many hours ago, and I've not yet heard back. We're live in Santa Monica tonight. Bill Malugin, Fox 11 News.